internet, I wanted to talk to you today about making videos on YouTube. Here's the thing, I've made videos and posted them on YouTube before and they've always been really easy, like vloggy styles. If I did any editing, it was really quick, edit out the breaths, edit out the sentence, whatever, because it was stupid. I might have put a picture in here and there, but that was about as technical as I got. I also know how to put background music towards things, but yeah, about as technical as I got. Whereas now, with the videos that I'm making for this channel and the videos that I'm practicing to make for mine and my mum's channel around crafting, it's really like a different format to what I've ever edited before and it's really interesting to me. Especially with the videos for the channel that I'm doing with my mother, they're a lot longer. So I need to, some of them are like condensed and it's working out where you want to speed things up, where you want to overlay voice and it's just, it's harder than I thought but it's also not that hard. Because I took my time in getting like a basic understanding of editing software, I know how to speed things up, I know how to overlay images and overlay videos about the same. I'm not doing anything crazy or technical which would be harder but I'm learning a lot as well. Like the other day I was like, but how do I get like an arrow to point there or something? Well, apparently you take a still, you edit that still, you reload it, you overlay it and do stuff from there. I don't, I haven't done it yet. <laughs> it's just what I've, what I've read. But like with a video where I had dyed my hair, I didn't expect it to go the way that it went. And that's because I really, I was like, I'm gonna dye my hair. And then I started recording that and I was just planning on like stitching it all together, fast forwarding parts, you know. And then I decided to sit down and narrate it, Sophia Nygaard style, and you have, you might have seen the outcome, but it kind of interests me. It was a bit of a load on my computer and it wasn't that happy about it, but I've done something similar for the videos that I've been doing with my mum with the crafting of fast forwarding bits, having voiceovers over the fast forwarding and things like that. And I don't, like if anyone's ever done editing, you probably know the difference between like your standard small edits and then the more complicated you get and the more things you add in, it's interesting, it's time consuming and thank god I'm not a perfectionist when it comes to editing otherwise I can never get anything done. I'm a perfectionist with writing and sewing and a lot of other things but not YouTube. I refuse to become a perfectionist with YouTube because I'll never upload anything and I've done it before and I don't want to do that again because it is a giant pain in my ass. But it's also opening up things that I'm like, oh, I can actually do that video. So if I see a video that's really cool, I can actually do that. And that's, that's fun to me. <laughs> like, I love the idea of that. And maybe I'm a nerd, maybe I'm not. But it's just, it's interesting to learn a new way of doing things. That you, something that you've done before, something that you look at other things, and you're like, yeah, that's pretty easy. And like, actually, putting that into practice, for some reason is on a whole different scale to me than sewing or book writing. Like with writing, I just assume that I'll get around to it, I can do it. I just have to like be practiced and keep myself doing it. Whereas when it comes to sewing, I'm like, I can probably do it. I have a lot of the small skills and the lower skills for it. I'm just gonna have to fuck up a couple of times and then yeah, I'm sure I'll be able to do it. I mean, I've done this and this, which is kind of similar. Whereas with this, I was just like, let's just do it. Let's see what happens. I think it will work. I don't know, Batman. Do you think it will work, Batman? I know, it's just like invigorating a little bit, but it's also <laughs> leading to me not posting as many videos. And I'm trying to get in the habit of at least once a week sitting down and making a video so that I can get myself in that routine. And even though I have a lot of other things that I want to do, this is a priority. And this is something that I like doing as a hobby. If it ends up more as a hobby, that would be great. But generally it's been one of my hobbies for the last, I think I posted my first videos. No, I posted videos when I was 17. I still have that on this channel. But I believe I posted videos when I was 15 as well. So it might be 10 years. I can't find those. I think that channel and that video was deleted but I do have some like random videos where I'm talking to the camera about something and that's really weird to find on your hard drive like you're going through your photos you're like oh oh look look this is this is 13 year old Cassie and she's talking to a camera it's a little it's a little odd like she's updating people on her life um oh actually YouTube that makes sense yeah it's still weird especially when you have like no memory of making that video 
I can understand how like YouTubers are like, I like I just uploaded, I don't remember everything that I said in there, but people will walk up to me and be like, hey, remember how you said pumpkins were cool? I think pumpkins are cool too. And I'm like, well, yeah, I do think pumpkins are cool, but I don't fucking remember saying that ever. I don't remember anything that I've ever posted onto YouTube, apparently. I remember some things. It's fine. There's part of me that wants to go back and watch different videos of different stages and I might do that in a little while like once I've gotten this narrowed down a bit more of me like when I was making those little videos when I was 17 and then 20 and then 23 and like my booktube videos and things like that just to see how interesting it would be maybe I'll wait till I'm 27 and then I can go back for 10 years of YouTube because I don't know where the other videos are unless I find something then I might do that it's just such a learning process and because I tend to learn by doing things I don't like to sit there and watch something because then that thing has worked it out for me. I kind of like to work things out on my own and I'm a giant pain in the ass. But that's how I work and I like to reinvent the wheel. So just doing it by my own guidelines has been so much fun. And that's what I wanted to say, that I'm finding editing fun and you might see some different things from me and that's about it. Also I dyed my hair, that video should be out, I was talking about that earlier. So that's me. <laughs> but yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!